Hello fellow aviation and flight simming fans alike and welcome to a new update on the upcoming Microsoft Flight Simulator due to launch in 2020. This is a bit delayed video, the update came out uh, five days ago on October 10th and uh, it was a development update that uh, had been announced and it is uh, featuring a discovery series where they are speaking about uh, or talking a bit about the, the world in general and how it's generated and uh, what we can look forward to in the world. And uh, it holds a lot of interesting uh, information. Uh, some of the info, or most of the information, we already knew from uh, from the press uh, event that uh, happened earlier last month. And uh, I won't go too much into detail about that. Uh, but I highly recommend that you watch the video. I have put a link uh, to the YouTube video uh, in the description below this video. So head on over and uh, check out the video from the developers on the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, 2020. Uh, they also posted a text update. Uh, it, uh, it's really positive news, really. Um, they basically write that they are pleased to announce the first episode of their feature discovery series, and uh, it's a global preview of the world. And uh, they are giving you an in depth look at the world they are building for the next generation of the Microsoft Flight Simulator. Uh, they also write that uh, they're opening a feedback pipeline. There's a feedback. feedback Dashboard. The dashboard contains a summary of all feedback we'll be collecting from the community discussions on a daily basis. Uh, the feedback is triaged, prioritized and assigned a plan of action. We'll provide output of this pipeline to the community in a document tentatively called Feedback Snapshot on a regular basis, just to show the community that they care, that they listen and they also are transparent on how they prioritize this feedback. And they also write that there has been an incredible amount of feedback already. And this feedback, along with all the feedback they have been collecting previously, is critically important for the team to ensure that the voice of the community is being put into action through a collaborative and transparent process, i.e. Use, use of the feedback snapshot to give the community transparency into the feedback they are proud. So I already mentioned that. Features like uh, ATC, Seasons, Virtual Reality, Rotocraft, SDK, and etc. can be found in the feedback snapshot, along with the current plan for next steps and timelines for resolution. The feedback snapshot will be released on, a rec on regular intervals and will be announced the f and will announce the date of the first preview release for the next update. They also write that the Tech Alpha recruitment will end on uh, yeah today. Basically, so it's uh, too late for you guys. Sorry, hope you did sign up though. The Tech Alpha one ends. There will be other um, other chances to sign up uh, later on, so don't stress too much if you haven't signed up, if you really want to become a Tech Alpha tester. Um, but uh, you definitely need to sign up as an insider and head on our way into the insider area to, to do that. So if you haven't done so, please do that. Uh, the next update will be a build re release um, and it will come out on uh, October 17th and um, on October 24th there will be a release window and it will begin uh, granting access to the Tech Alpha build to the insiders that have received acceptance to become Tech Alpha testers. But uh, as I mentioned there will be several slots upcoming Tech Alpha 2 and so on. Uh, so they're targeting uh, mid-end November for the second build release, Tech Alpha 2, and they expect to open recruitment for Tech Alpha 2 at the end of October, so uh, it won't be closed for too long if you haven't signed up. But anyway, uh, it's uh, just mind-boggling what they're trying to build there, guys. They're, they're making the entire world uh, open for VFR flying with all the airports, all 45,000 of them, more than 2 million cities. It is a one big Earth simulator, guys. Uh, and it's using Zoom level 19, guys, Bing Maps. That is corrected with Azure AI Cloud Data. So they will be correcting cloud errors and uh, general errors um, in the imagery. Uh, and the AI will be detecting th trees and buildings and roof uh, top colors and stuff like that to generate 3D buildings in areas where they don't have as good OSM data. So uh, you will be having the entire world in 3D once it's done. Also, uh, it will be having more than, uh, I think, 1.5 trillion trees. That's a lot of zeros, that's a lot of trees. And you'll be able to fly over your house, around your house. You'll even be able to park the aircraft in your garage if you have one. So it's pretty freaking awesome and mind-boggling at the same time. And uh, the internet connectivity that you are required to stream this data, all uh, 2.5 petabytes, sorry. That's uh, 2.5 million gigabytes, guys. 
So uh, you'll be need to you'll be needing an internet connection to stream this. If you don't have an internet connection, don't sweat. You can play offline, and from the pictures they have released, it looks pretty darn good offline as well. So I'm not too worried about that. Uh, also, they have uh, procedurally generated the world, so you'll be seeing 3D grass blades, individual glass grass blades. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. As for the stuff like that, you'll be seeing wind that can uh, locally affect the water. So imagine that you're coming in on approach over the water, short final, and you can actually see a local patch of uh, a wind gust on the water. Uh, and that's, yeah, doesn't get more realistic than that, really. So a lot of stuff to look forward to, guys. And if you're not, not excited yet, I don't know what rock you're living under. Anyway, I'm excited. I hope you are as well. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next uh, update video here on my channel. So uh, until then, bye bye.